Hey crafty cuties, welcome back to Paper Terrace. If you're new, I'm Jessica. Today we have another box from your creative studio. So we're gonna hop in. I have not peeked at this one. Um, it looks like it might be a vintage sewing theme, which would be really cool. It's a really fun thing to work with. And if you're new to my channel and you don't know anything about these boxes, I'll have a link below to the company where you can get yourself one. It's kind of like a subscription box. Um, but a lot of times if you see this box and you like this exact one, a lot of times they might be available still. So you can check that out. Okay, so let's just dig in here. We'll start with the washi tape. I love with these boxes that you can kind of rely on certain things. Like you always get a washi tape. Um, I mean, I'm sure maybe there's been a month or something that there hasn't been washi tape but for the most part you can always rely on washi tape on stamps and uh, just really cool ephemera okay this is really pretty i love how all of her washi tapes kind of go together like even though there's different themes within the boxes if i put all of my washi tapes together that i got from just these boxes they would all work together beautifully so um, really nice quality super soft and silky and they stick really well Although I will say I would always use glue if I actually wanted this to stay on a project like f forever kind of thing. But I do that with most of my washies anyways. So it looks like this will be the stamp and you can see a little preview right there. And I will do a quick little layout at the end so you can see how these things work together. So yeah, you got a vintage sewing machine stamp. Ooh, this is fun. This is something new that I haven't seen at least in any of the boxes that I've had. And so it's a like a crocheted doily. A lot of us use these types of elements in our journals, so this is really nice. That's so cool. Really pretty. So mass it says masking tape. So I think it's another washi tape, but a really skinny one. I mean that's super small, but that's cute. just kind of like some little vines you get a tiny little charm and it's uh, like a vintage sewing machine you can see that oh my goodness I'm so excited oh <gasps> these are gorgeous oh my gosh they're like vintage scissor or no they're not really vintage but they look like uh, shears, I guess. I think that's what you... <gasps> I am stoked to have these. And that's the cool thing about these boxes too is a lot of months there are like a really special item in them. Um, oh my gosh, these are the cutest thing that I have ever seen. I am thrilled to have these. Oh my gosh, cute. <laughs> and I've got so many different little things like that. I'm looking around because I have... Like last month, I got this little tin. Uh, I don't know where it is right now, but you can put like buttons and things in it. And so I like that you also sometimes get items like that, where it's just like a special little thing that you'd probably use in your craft room, not on a journal layout. Um, it's just kind of like an extra little prize. So uh, this is a sticker set. It says stamp sticker set. So let's see. Okay. So trying to see what kind of stickers these are well here let me show first of all I'll show you the different ones oh. little label stickers this is a good mix but I'm kind of curious how these work just because it seems like the sticky part is on the acetate and so I'm actually wondering if that's what the sticker part is. Oh yeah, I think so. Okay, cool. So this is different, definitely. So the sticker is actually, it's like a clear sticker, I guess, that's all. But it just seems a little bit different than what I normally see with stickers. So that's fun. Um, okay, you get another stamp or probably a few little ones. And if you can see, they're really tiny, but. Yep, three little stamps. 
my stamp collection has grown tremendously uh, getting these boxes. So there is a spool of thread. I'm trying to get the lighting just right. Um, like a measuring tape. And then another little like vintage spool. And then you get a little sticker set here. And that's so cute because like the, the scissors that we got kind of look like that. And oh, how adorable. Oh, cool. Okay, this is like just a whole thing of, it says note card. Let's use our scissors. <laughs> see how good these work. They, see, they seem really sharp, so very excited because I can always use an extra pair of scissors, but also those ones are just so cute. Okay, I'm just curious if they're all the same. I don't think they are. Now I'm just going to use my scissors as often as I can. <laughs> checklist are they all the same no they're not okay and I like these little notepads when they don't have all of the same thing because yeah you just get more use out of them I think oh fun a little like this would be cute to put in your journal and you could do like a little word a day or I don't know different things so you have a bunch of those ones Let's try to see what else we have this is a list. You can use that for yeah, so many different things in journaling. To-do list. And I think that's about it, but cool. Okay. <clears throat> a few more things. I'm always kind of blown away at how much is in these boxes also. Um, just because I feel like the stamps and washi tape are like kind of a big item to receive. And then you always get so much more. I don't know how she makes it possible, but... You always get some kind of patterned papers. These are like six by six size. Good quality, nice colors, and they all work well together. Oops. Uh, oh, falling over. Okay, and then these, I'm guessing maybe journaling cards. Not quite sure. <clears throat> it says uh, paper ephemera. Yeah, they're like journaling cards. Get these ones. I like these ones because you could put like an actual picture or journaling on those ones. And then these are like a bigger journaling card. Okay, I'm really excited to do a little layout. So let's just get through this. Oh, so pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna move everything to the side. I'm just gonna keep everything kind of out here. I'm not even gonna turn the camera off. We're just gonna go for it. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little layout in this little journal. I think I got this from the Junking Journaler box. And so I've actually been doing layouts with your Creative Studio items the last few times that I've got boxes. This was last month and I really, really love the items I got from there. So let's just go ahead and go to the next page. Kind of like that. Okay, so what do we wanna do? So we have this little middle page here, could use like a journaling card. There were some of those smaller ones in here. Maybe that, but I'm also, oh, maybe we could do this and well, I was thinking stamping, but it would have to go sideways, but that might be a good use of this one anyways. So maybe we'll save that for stamping that way and perhaps maybe use one of these other, I, I love the scissors, but this one's like so beautiful and it's kind of calling my name. So I think we'll do that right there and I'll just make it a little side pocket, I think. Um, I'm trying to decide here. We can also use the card, um, or we could use that as like a little, okay. <laughs> so many ideas. I'm just going to start out by gluing
that. So I think I'll take a little piece of washi tape. Just place that up at the top, kind of like that, even though it kind of blends in, but I feel like it adds a little something extra. Maybe we'll try the little one too. Um, like down here. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I like that. And then we could always put this little card in here just for now. I think I'm gonna use one of these clear stickers. Um, just again, to add just a little something extra so it's not just the journaling card. Oh wait, maybe we'll make it kind of go off the page a little bit, yeah. I feel like doing that kind of helps everything pop a little bit more, I guess. Okay, so I was sort of thinking like, I could almost turn this into a tag. Um, and then it already has a little hole because we have this cute little charm that might be fun to use. So for this, maybe it would be good. We already have some really pretty elements on here, but of course, kind of want to cover up like the writing. So I'm thinking we could use some of the papers to do some collaging. Yeah, let's just do that. Okay, so I really like these flowers. So I think I'm gonna just tear that. that um in fact i'll use some scraps that i have too i do usually try to stick to just what's in the boxes but i'm just gonna add like a little actually this is a vintage sewing pattern i didn't even think about that so we'll just kind of go like that in fact it might be fun to have some of the writing so that you could tell that it's like from a pattern I'll just kind of place these around some sewing or some uh, music paper so maybe kind of like this and then we could use like a sticker um yeah oh and i'll put some washi tape over those words so let's see maybe this one i'll just place that right there okay i'm gonna glue those down i kind of want to make sure i know what i'm doing if you're noticing some cuts between the clips here, it's because I'm trying to multitask and also film a reel. It seems like a lot of people like the quick little layout videos, but it's a lot of work to try and film both at once. So sorry about that if it's distracting. I just wanted to try it out this time because I don't normally go through, um, I don't normally like film two things at once, if that makes sense, but I just wanted to try it out this time. So, okay, we'll go like that. And then I wanna add a little bit more of this pattern paper and I am inking up the edges of that just so it all kind of vibes together nicely. And I think that's all of the collaging I'll do. Sticker, I'm gonna go right here. And then we'll do some washi tape at the top here. Just kind of over the word right there. And take this skinny washi tape and just place it over these words. Perfect size actually. And then I'm gonna take a little bulb pin that I have and hopefully this will work for the charm because that's a really cute little charm. I think it will. And I just wanted to kind of place that, yep, perfect, just like that. And then I was thinking we can use one of these little stamps um, and do like a stamp on here. Probably, yeah, this little spool I think would be good. So I'm just gonna do brown so that it kind of doesn't stand out too much. Hopefully I stamped that okay. Okay, really cute, love the tag. Okay, so. We have a tag, not sure how I'm gonna attach that yet. Oh yeah, I was thinking about a pocket, so maybe we'll go ahead and stamp this onto this little journaling card. And again, I think I'll do, no, I think I'm gonna do black for this one. So I'm just stamping this with my black ink. These stamps usually stamp out really, really nice, but I do feel like the ink is kind of balling up on this weird, so let's see. And I'm just gonna 
place it down right in the center. Perfect spot for this journaling card. In fact, sometimes I'll use the lid here. Let's see. Let's see the reveal. Okay, I mean, actually that turned out just perfect. So then this can be our little pocket. Move this over. And I think again, I'm gonna add a few elements to this so that it's not just a journaling card. So there's some like little button stickers. I think that will look cute. Kind of up in the corner here. Uh, maybe another one. Actually, maybe we'll do like two up here. Yeah, like that. And these stickers kind of really blend in with this perfectly. Maybe one of these. I don't want to overdo it, but I just wanted to add a few extra little things. Uh, I don't like that right there. Well, that's okay. Do I? There, I like that. And we'll just fold. Yeah, we'll use our cute little scissors to trim that. Okay. We could use some more of these if we wanted. Maybe we'll do like this one so that it's a little bit more abstract. I'll just put this over the whole corner here. Yeah, I like that. Okay, perfect. So now I'm gonna ink up the edges again. And I think this is the perfect size for this page to be just a little pocket. Yep, so I'm just gonna glue around the three edges again. And then just place it down right here. As I glued this down, I realized it would actually be cute if I sewed around the edges, but now I already have glue. So what I'm gonna do is pull it off and I'm just gonna use some scrap paper and I'll glue it on here. Oh yeah, and then actually this can be the pocket and then I'm gonna go over to my sewing machine and just sew around. Okay, so I did just some messy stitching around. And I'm gonna go ahead now, and now I can just glue this whole thing down to the page. I'm gonna use a lot of glue, because this handmade, it's like a handmade paper. Um, really has like a lot of texture, so. Okay, there we go. In fact, it would probably be fun to go ahead and sew around this as well, but for now, we'll just place this in the pocket and see if I want to do anything else. Okay, loving this. Um, do I want to add something to this side? I really want to use this doily. It's pretty textured or it's pretty thick, I guess you could say, but I still could. I think instead I'll start out by just doing some collaging on this page. And I think I'm going to use, this is like packaging, but I'm going to use this and I'm going to staple this on actually. Um, do I want to do it right up there? Do it on the side. I'm trying to think about what's going to peek through here. Because I'm still considering using this, but I'm not sure. Could. Kind of like that. Yeah, okay, I like that. So I'll staple this at the top here. Just kind of like. Table down there and I think I'll just keep this kind of open on the top and we could make that a pocket put one of these little checklists in and then now to decide do I want to add this um, let's start off by adding a little bit more of this washi tape actually I want that to be over a little bit more onto the page a bit. And I'll go ahead and layer on some of this skinny washi also. This was very exhausting, like going back and forth trying to film a reel. So like I said, I think it's gonna end up being annoying. So I apologize if that's the case. Um, I think I will just go ahead and staple this on as well, the doily. I could sew if I was able to, well, maybe I can take this to my sewing machine and sew it on. Well, 
for a minute, actually, since I just looked over and saw these stickers, I think I'm going to add some more stickers here. This is a really fun layout to be working with, to be honest. Do this one right here. And just to add something a bit more to here. I'm also going to add this vintage sewing machine, I think, just right over there. Yeah, not to the side a little. If I can move it, I will. If I can't, then I won't. Whoa, these ones stick really well. Kind of like that. And then I feel like I need one more over here. I like these clear stickers a lot. I keep saying that, but they're nice. Ooh, actually, I'll put it down here, and then I could do a stamp right here. Yeah. We'll do this one. Because then we have a few different elements on here. If this brown doesn't show up very well, then I'll re-stamp it in black, but I think it'll be okay. Because I went ahead and I was able to sew this on, so... This is, I think, the final layout. This one was so fun to make. I love how it turned out. We got our little tag. We could add something more to this pocket too, like one of the journaling cards or something, but I think we have enough going on. Um, maybe a list, <laughs> just because it's fun to use as many things as we can. And I feel like I would want to ink this up. See, I could play with this these items in here all day long. Maybe just to make it a little something more, we will add one of these stickers. We'll do this one. Oh. There we go. And I could put the date on here too, if I wanted. If I had a date stamp around here, I do. There we go. Okay, we're all done. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. And I hope that you liked this box and this layout. And again, let me know down below, were those jump cuts kind of distracting? Um, is it worth it for me to post a reel? Do you guys like the little like sneak peek reels? I'm kind of curious, um, but I'm just trying things out to see kind of what works. So um, we'll see you guys later. Have a great day. Bye.